What's up guys? My name is Mike and this is Slow Speed. I'm going to play around with the LED brightness. So we're going to use a software called Beamer Code, which you guys are pretty sure are familiar with. And the V-Gate uh, iCar Pro B Elite. Get off of Amazon. It's a OBD2 dongle Bluetooth so you can use that with your cell phone. I have an iPhone. I'm not sure if you use it with Android. Yeah, you should be able to. I don't know, Android, so you should be able to use it with Android. Now, the code, uh, the app I have is Beamer Code. If you have BMWs with the LED lighting package, or if you have the Byzenons with the LED rings, the angel eyes, you're perfectly fine. Th this works for you. However, you halogen guys out there, uh, unfortunately, this isn't going to work for you because we're adjusting LED brightness, obviously. And you depot guys out there, I'm not sure if those depots connect to the computer and you can uh, adjust it on the car i'm not sure you may be able to but you might not be able to uh but for certain by xenon guys and you led guys this is for you and you other guys can watch too because i think i'm not cool anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start the screen recorder and load up the uh beamer code so first first things first i'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on Ignition is on and I'm gonna connect beamer code to the car. So I'm gonna connect. Okay, finally, we're all loaded up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and there's two sides obviously. We got headlight driver module left, headlight driver module right. I'm gonna go in driver module left, reading code data. So, we're here. Now, you have three options. We have angel eye brightness low beams, and we have angel eye brightness parking lights. Low beams are when the lights are on, how bright do you want the angel, angel eyes to be. Typically, the angel eyes would come off dimmer while the headlights are on the low beam, so the low beam kind of doesn't get drowned out by the LED when you're looking at it. Angel eye brightness in parking lights is just when you run in the rings alone, how bright you want them. Uh, typically, when I run the rings alone, uh, it's about, it'll be like dark outside, if not, you know, it'll be like nighttime, if not like completely dark. So, when I run the rings, because these are parking lights, so these are manually. This is, parking lights are when the switch is here. Those aren't the daytime running rings. The daytime running rings are in a, in a different thing. I'll show you that too. That's for when the parking. So typically when I have those running, uh, it'll be like dusk or, you know, I'll be in the city or something. It'll be nighttime. It's not advised to run those only when you're like on the road or to hire by yourself because people can see you, but you really can't see anything no matter how bright these LEDs get. Uh, the rings, you really can't see anything. So we're going to go ahead and just mess with the settings. These are my custom settings. So I'm just going to show you guys. We're going to turn the brightness parking lights all the way up. I'm going to go back. And I'll show you guys low beams also. We're going to turn the low beams all the way up. So we got 100%, 100%. We're going to go ahead and hit the code button. Now I'm going to wait until I get outside when I hit the code button so you guys can kind of see the lights do its little thing. So... Exit the vehicle. So it's writing code data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the front and we're gonna see them change. You see them flickering? Ah. Obviously we're working with the left module, so the left module is the one that would go ahead and swap. And I think the coding is done. Wow, I can barely see the difference when you're in the daytime. I think they are exactly the same. Oh, it's clearing errors, coding completed. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Okay, those are the parking lights. So I got the parking lights on. Now one, you can tell the difference, but slightly. So one is at, I mean, it really doesn't, honestly, I'm gonna be so straight with you guys. I barely even told the difference with that. I gotta do something where you guys can know the difference. Let's try it with the high beams on. 
Okay, high beams, I, I, it's, high beams are noticed to be different. So, as you can see, the driver's side, very bright. That's with the rings. Oh, it actually doesn't look bad in the night, I mean, in the daytime. The rings with the LEDs on, and this, you can automatically tell this is dimmer than this. So, that's how you guys code the headlight. You go, you go back and forth. Now, the left side is obviously the same. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm doing the daytime running lights. So, these are for park lights and these are for low beams. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to back out of this menu and I'm going to go into the other menu and we're going to go ahead and code the... Uh, daytime running light so you guys can see light versus dark so stay tuned for that it's coming up right now now after i showed you guys how to code it over to the brightness and i showed you guys the difference in the brightness obviously you can tell i didn't notice it from 40 percent to 100 percent with just the parking lights on i think that's something you'll notice more at night i'll throw in some night clips right here there you go i didn't think the camera could really tell a difference so this one is the dim and this is the bright. It looks the same-ish. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I get a side shot. That's the brighter one. This one's the dim. Back to the video. So the night clips are really what are you going to drastically see the difference. And now right now we're going to go ahead and work on the coating for the just the regular daytime running lights, not the parking lights. Screen recording, so we're going to back out. Okay. He's having a little fun back there. All right, so we're gonna go back out. We're just gonna go to front electronic module, reading coding data. We're back. Now we got Angel Eye, brightness, low beams, and parking lights. For some reason, it didn't work in this section when I tried to code it that way. For brightness and parking lights, it didn't work. Uh, it worked only left and right. So. Okay, so you see right here, we are daytime driving lights. So daytime driving lights, we can go ahead and click on that. We can select when we want them on. So we can have them active, active also with parking lights or not active. We have it to the stock setting uh, active uh, with also with parking lights. And have it set on 100%. So right now, these are 100% brightness and it makes sense and I think there might be a hundred percent from factory so that's pretty much how you change the brightness for the the uh, the headlights I think that daytime running lights should be a hundred percent parking lights should be a little dim too because you don't need that much brightness at night from the range of lights and it kind of has that like that crystal over effect if they're super super bright it's just like a blinding light but when you turn them down a bit they have that nice crystal -y headlight effect when you turn low beams on just crank it up a little bit don't make it exactly even with the leds but just so that the led don't make it even with the low beam leds but just make it close so that the low beam led is just a tad bit brighter than the rings i guarantee you you'll love it but you can crank it up 100 percent if you want to not my taste but you can do it all right guys thank you for watching and thank you for coming in the slow speed like comment subscribe do your thing do your thing we out of here. Peace out, guys.